Had the love gone out of your marriage? Uh, no, I'm not going to go into that space. I mean, I, you know, these are really decent people, and I'm not going to humiliate anybody. It's a little bit late for that, Barnaby. You've already humiliated them. What do you want to say to them? Well, I think um, I grew up in a small town. Everyone's got their shit. I, you can't help who you fall in love with. You can't, you, I mean, you, I think you can't me. help who you fall in love with. Goes florid when angry. <laughs> yes, yes. I think the word homewrecker comes to mind. Yes, correct. And she went to work on the then Deputy Prime Minister. Was he hard to manage? Yes, yes. And did that commanding presence appeal to you? Yes, yes. And Barnaby, what did you think of this ambitious young staffer? Uh, pretty basic. She's ruthless. Sassy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who made the first move? What do you mean? <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> if you do something wrong, remember that person's working there in the office with you. Mm. So mm. be careful. That's true. <laughs> it's true. But surely you knew the ramifications if this if this got out. We were very conscious of the fact that we had to be, you know, that it was it, if something happened, it was going to be a big issue. Next, the ugly showdown. What was it? With Barnaby's wife. I can't repeat the words on television. Was this an affair? Or what's, I mean, I suppose if, in, the, in the terminology of it, I suppose you'd say we, we, that, that you know, we, met, we met each other and we're in a relationship. Just like a politician, he doesn't answer the question. Listen to the squirmy answer again. Barnaby, was this an affair? Or what's, I mean, I suppose if, in, the, in the terminology of it, I suppose you'd say we, we, that that, you know, we met, we met each other and we're in a relationship. I, I'm, the good thing about being in politics for as long as I have, about 20 years, is I know how to also stop a question on. They went ahead with that story with the bundle of Joyce headline on a hunch. So, Vicky, this is where that, that photo was taken. I accept that there were public interest questions, definitely. Um, however, I think that um, the, the way that they did it was wrong. Um, they harassed our, our, our friends, they harassed our family. They even stopped your father in the street. They did. You're just, your family is here, your family is here, just, just, that's, that's it. And of course, families have a greater capacity to hurt somebody than anybody else. Yeah, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed. To be quite frank, I couldn't give a shit about the political ramifications, really. You, he said, you have set off a world of woe for these women and appalled all of us. Yeah, well, that, I don't think that will ever be his Gettysburg address, will it? I never expected a gold star. And I did not expect the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Australia to go and do a doorstop on it. Mm. That was wrong. Generally, what happens in these things is you you uh, admonish someone privately and you support them publicly. That's... Admonish someone privately and you support them publicly. That's the sort of a golden rule. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, you know, this is all back to front. Oh. Uh, I was like, you, can, you can chew out your vice captain in the, in the locker room, but not on the field. In a bizarre effort to take the heat off, Barnaby told a newspaper that it was possible the baby wasn't his. You come out and you say, reportedly, that the paternity 
was a bit of a grey area. Well, hang on, it was a tipping point. There were so many people who were close to me who said, what on earth possessed you to say that? But Well, a lot of, a lot of people thought, gee, way to throw your partner under the bus. Yeah, well, it was actually a decision we made together. Yeah, well, it was actually a decision we made together. You said you're pregnant. And, um, you have to get an abortion. The people who tried to stop little Sebastian being born. And they said, if you don't, they're going to come after you. Behind the scenes, there were even darker forces at play. You said there was outside pressure. Yes. From where? From... People within the parliament to. So they came to me, they said, uh, uh, they said, you're pregnant. And um, you have to get an abortion. And I said, yeah. It's too late. It has it has a you know, it has a heartbeat. And they said if they if you don't, they're gonna come after you. And they did. And they did. Mm, they did. Uh, who was they? I oh, you know what? I don't wanna They will they will take you for a major call. <laughs> okay. I mean I don't I don't, I don't want you to name names, but um but can I just say conservative? You know, people who are supposed to be conservatives. God-fearing uh, conservatives. Yeah. There, there is something insidious and dark and horrible that happens inside that mad boarding school. Mm. And their contribution to it is they're going to try and make an incredibly difficult situation almost unbearable by saying to that woman, you will do this if you want a career in this place. And that's, that's, that's the Australian, that's your Australian parliament. What, what were you saying to Barnaby? My advice was to sit down yeah. and then we worked on the speech. Yeah. Yeah. And you look at Sebastian and you think, boy, man, you cause some problems. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a stroke of politician genius for you. He's blaming the flipping baby now. Good on you, Barnaby. Point the finger at somebody else. And you look at Sebastian and you think, boy, man, you cause some problems. <laughs> I think that we're very boring.